this is Claude Rizmo. Welcome to the Rich Chef second season. I'm looking forward to it. We're in uh, Culver, Delaware. I have a delivery to make uh, tomorrow at the Big Blue. And uh, so on today's menu, let me let me get changed before I let you know what's on today's menu. This is my lucky shirt, trucker shirt. So give me a second. Yes, yes, I'm back, the big chef, big rig chef. Uh, yeah, so once again, we're in Cobra, Delaware, and I'm here to cook up a storm. Feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna do something here. Oh, by the way, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful thing to be a father. You see my, uh, my uh, artwork that the kids done for me? It's great, you know. So it's great. So let me give a little shout out to uh, Melissa. I know she don't want me to mention her last name. I won't mention it. I'll give a shout out to Siobhan. Give a shout out to Latrice, and to everyone out there who's uh, listening. All right. So sponsored by my catering company. You know, Sovereign Grandson Paradise Caterers. Enough of that. Uh, so, today we're going to do some uh, salmon. Salmon salad with a little bit of tomatoes tossed into it with a little bit of seared uh, uh, pineapple. And I'm going to do like a little bit of an orange thingy going on there. Maybe an orange marinade for the uh, salmon. So, let's get started here. So. I'm gonna just heat up my. Uh, see, I even I even went to the big blue and got myself another stove because I ran out of, out of butane. See, I like you guys. So, so I'm gonna wait until this heats up. I got my pineapple here. I put some cayenne pepper on it. All right. Got my tomato. I'm gonna dice that up. And I'm just gonna sear the tomatoes, right? Everything that's going in a salad, so you don't. I want to sear them. I want to serve the uh, room temperature. So this is my salad. This is my uh, tongs that I don't use for the salmon. Don't cross contaminate. All right. So you know me. I love my oils. This is my uh, chili flake oil. Love it. And if I could get it open, it would be better. So I've got some chili flake oil here, kicking around. Now I'm going to put some cayenne pepper on my pineapple. Nice, nice, nice. Get this thing a little bit hot. You know, I know Melissa's laughing at me, but it's all good. And all the rest of you guys. So, got that kicking around. We'll just wait until that browns a little bit. I got my orange, I started peeling it. So I'm gonna peel it. I'm gonna use both the juice and the orange, I'm just gonna make segments out of the orange for my salad here. And we'll just put it in a nice clean bowl. Clean guys, stay clean. All right, so let's get, get the knife. Just some nice segments for the salad. I do the segment here. I'm going to use the juice from the core to make my uh, marinade for my salmon. 
Yes, believe it or not, I'm using orange for my marinade. So, this is, this is going to be where my marinade goes. So I'm just going to squeeze out the juice. I got the juice of my orange. Man, that pineapple. Woo! With the cayenne. Awesome. Let's see. We want some nice color to it. No, it's not quite not quite there yet. Once I flip this over, I'm gonna add my uh my tomato. <coughs> wow. I'm gonna add my tomato. But this is the marinade for my salmon. I got orange here. I got some uh, garlic and some uh, dill. A perfect combination. And you know what I'm gonna do before I add the salmon in here? I'm just gonna take a little because I'm going to put it, make my dressing out of it as well. Salmon tongs and non salmon tongs. Got my nice salmon here. Look at that. Look at the beauty. Look at that. So I know. You guys you guys miss me the rig serve, eh? I I was gonna cook, but it's too cold to cook in the winter time. So I just took a hiatus. Now I'm gonna add my tomatoes right there. I'm just gonna add a splash of salt. Man. That's just gonna be, that's gonna go into the salad. Alright, so we're gonna make a simple salad dressing. I decided to use a uh, red wine vinegar. Usually salad dressing is usually three to one. Three parts oil to one part vinegar. Alright, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's one part vinegar. And we're gonna use some rosemary oil. Oh my god, rosemary oil. Three parts oil. Some Dijon mustard to buy and get everything together. Man, those pineapples look so good. Usually when you make a cup, you, a cup of a uh, of, of uh, dressing, it's usually a tablespoon of uh, of Dijon. You could put Dijon or uh, mustard, but some kind of sorry, whoa, some kind of binding agent, right? So we're gonna put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'm gonna actually chop up a little bit of dill to add to it. A little dill and some garlic, just a little bit. And I do have a spectator watching, so that's kind of new. <laughs> I'm used to doing it by myself, used to having no one around, but another fellow truck driver is watching, so I gotta make it good. So I'm just gonna add the add the rest of my uh, I sauteed this earlier so I just wanted to add that in right now. That's that's done. See, instead of using a vertical blender or something, you could just put it in a container. 
your vinegar, put your stuff in it, and just give it a shake. Give it a shake, a nice shake here. And then, see, you just mixed up your vinegar already, see? That took me, what, 30 seconds? I'm just gonna taste it for, uh, make sure it's... See how creamy it is? That's because of the, uh, the mustard, right? It's there, it's there, just need a bit of, a little more salt. But I love the acid in it, it's great. But just keep that aside. Alright. Now we're going to take care of the salmon. Let's take care of some business with the salmon here. Two pieces of beautifully filleted salmon. Oh man. I think this is the first time I did fish on the show. So I got my uh, I got orange juice, dill, garlic in here. I'm gonna add a touch of Worcestershire. Just a touch of Worcestershire in there. Just give it a little bit of a you know, different dimension, right? So, just give this a stir here, or just add it to our uh, salmon. And when you marinate salmon or any type of fish, I don't recommend marinating it so long. Maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, if it's cut up, filleted nicely. That's all you really need. So we'll just let that sit there for a little bit. Oh man, that that smells heavenly. Whew, smells heavenly. And we will season it after, right? Let's not, we'll season everything after. I mean, sorry, we'll season it before it goes in the pan. All right, so. This is done. Look at that. Hope you can see that. Guys. Look at that. Look at the color. The nice caramelization. It's awesome. All right. So I'll just put it on a clean uh, container here. What's your name? Sam. Sam? See? That affected another truck driver buddy of mine. Sam. He's waiting for a load out of you. I'm waiting to deliver my load. Oh, my flame went out, so I'll just rewrite with it. Woo! That's hot! Alright. So, just gotta make sure this is for the non-fish. These are for the fish. So, I'll use the rosemary oil. Just to, I love my flavored oil. I have all kinds of flavored oils. It just adds an instant, instant boost right away just uh, it's great so we'll just uh, let that go salmon here is uh, in its nice juices here we'll just give it a little turn and I got some nice medley mix right it's, uh, it's nice and crisp no, not some wilted stuff but right nice and crisp you could I recommend you making your own medley you know using 
I'll make your own. You know, radicchio, a little bit of uh, mustard seeds and stuff. You can make your own stuff. Whatever you want. I went to a restaurant one time, even I think a couple of days ago. Uh, one thing I do not like is uh, when they put salad in my bowl and they don't toss it. What am I? I'm supposed to toss it in my bowl? I don't like that. I like my salad tossed. Right? So, to make it look nice. To make everything taste, right? Taste is king. That's how I, what I live by. Alright, this thing just get in there. And we're just going to be simple with the salmon. Just a little bit of fresh pepper. I don't use the ground up stuff. Fresh. Gotta use fresh. Gotta use kosher salt. If it ain't kosher, it ain't good. Okay, so we'll just flip that over. We'll do the same thing on both sides. We don't want a one-sided uh, one sided ray, so right, so that's oh, look at that. That salmon. Now we're gonna get a nice sear on it. Just like this. Look at that. Start assembling some, uh, putting things together. Right. So, like I said, I have my basic uh, vinegar right here. It actually has uh, a bit of orange juice in here and fresh orange juice and some dill. And it's nice if you could do this the day before, so everything sort of mellows out and gets all happy like me but we'll get that kicking around well let me do a little bit of cleaning up here because I don't like a dirty area and since my good friend Sam's gonna join me I'm gonna put a little more salad here fingerling potatoes get, let me get a cutting board we just you know what I just I like I like to show the nature the real natural uh, beauty of the fingerling of any type of food so you don't want to destroy it too much so I'm just just going to cut it like that, right? So I'm just going to cut a few of these. And you want to be gentle, just like a woman, guys. Got to be gentle. All right. Since I don't have an oven, I'm going to make an oven. Now, put a lid over it. That's your oven. Alright, so, got some nice fingerlings. Let me taste 
system. I salted the water, so just enough salt, just a hint. Because you like to, I like to build flavors, you know. Season as I go, not season everything the last at the last moment. So we'll just cut that. All right. Our nice, uh, our nice medley mix. on the salmon. I don't like the salmon overdone. It's hot. This is a stove and it's hot. Just about. I don't like the salmon overdone, so. Take one of our uh, Take out containers. Don't forget the oranges. I'll put the oranges last, you know. So I'm just gonna give it a toss, you know. Just a little bit of a toss, and add a little bit of salt. I always want to finish it off with a touch of salt. Just, you know. You know. We're, we're chefs. We like to do stuff with our hands, right? So, but just uh, just decorate the plate here a bit. to share it with Sam. <laughs> right, so, let's see how the salmon is. Absolutely beautiful. It smells great. So, I'm also going to actually, when I put the salmon on the plate, I'm just going to drizzle it with a bit of a, with a bit of dressing. Just a summer, summer look, you know. So, we're just going to just touch it with a bit of dressing. Something different. Up, 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 up. Don't forget. Don't forget the oranges. And there you 
got it. A simple meal for a summertime dish. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look. It's very tasty, very healthy. Right? I, I guess I could give it to my buddy Sam here. I'm going to make myself one. All right? But thank you for joining me on The Rig Chef with your host, Claus Drisma. Hi, Melissa again. Trevon, Latrice. Thank you guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. Enjoy yourself. Once again, happy Father's Day. And watch the roads out there, guys. Do not litter. Keep North America clean. Take care, guys. Bye.